in addition to PLC programming, PLC Next as well as PLC Next Engineer allow the user to create an HMI interface. Once the interface is created, it can then be serviced via an HMI web server and accessed by any web browser. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can get started on creating a basic page, tying a few basic elements on the page, and then tying them back to an HMI and PLC scope tags. To get us started, we're going to go back to our project, and this is a menu that you may have seen while we were working on other things, but it is called HMI Web Server, underneath which we're going to find an application which currently does not have any pages. We're going to right click on application, select add HMI pages, and you'll notice that a page will be created alongside with a login page that's going to request the same username and password we have been using. Before we can create and edit our page, you'll notice that there's going to be an error that there's currently no start pages specified. So we, we can rectify this by right clicking page and setting this as our startup page. We can then double click page and navigate to the layout we can now work with. Now this layout can first and foremost be changed so we can change the width and the height in the menu. We can also select a different fill color. So just an example, I'm, go I'm going to make it a little bit grayer. Under the HMI tab under components, which I've already opened, you'll find a number of different objects that we can use on our screen. So the most important one is going to be a push button. So we're going to get started with that. And we highly recommend that you experiment with some of the other ones as you play and build your HMI applications. So if we drag and drop a push button onto our screen, we're just going to drag out a couple of them. We're going to be able to select the buttons, access the settings for the button, but more importantly, there's going to be quick tools right above the push button that allow us to change the fill, for example, so we can make an orange push button. We can also resize the button. You'll notice that as I position the buttons, there's going to be some shadow elements that allow me to make adjustments very precise. I can also hold the control key on my keyboard and use the scroll wheel of the mouse in order to zoom into my application and then position the buttons to a pixel perfect location so that they can be aligned exactly as needed and is very aesthetically pleasing. I can then zoom back out holding that same control button and scroll within my window. Now, the most important element of creating a push button is tying it back to some of the tags that will be used in our applications. And the way we can do that is by going in the push button, so selecting the element that we want to work with and navigating under the button behavior option. So if I expand this behavior option, you'll notice that there's going to be a space called a variable. And it's going to allow us to select and specify the Boolean data source. Now, before we can do that, I do want to create some HMI specific tags. And one way to do this is to go back to our PLC. So remember that we had this instance main that we've worked with for PLC programming. I do have it open in the tab above so I can select the main routine and then I can go into my variables. And here I'm going to specify two more HMI specific tags. And the way to do this is I'm going to give this a name. So this is going to be HMI tag one. This is going to be of type Boolean because it will be working with a push button. But more importantly, what I need to check here is the HMI box near the end in this column. I'm also going to make sure that this tag is going to be external because it's going to be accessed by an external application to what we're doing here on the PLC side. I'm going to create a second one of the same type. So HMI tag number two, Boolean external and an HMI tag. Perfect. So once we create an HMI tag, what's going to happen is if we navigate into our HMI web server, we'll notice that there's going to be a data list that allows us to tie in HMI tags to our PLC tags. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create my push button, my PB1. And here you'll notice that I can specify the variable on the PLC side that this represents. So in my case, that's going to be HMI tag one. And here I'm going to create my PB2. And this is going to be 
HMI tag two. So this is how you make the link between the HMI application and the PLC application. And you'll notice that the PLC tags that are not necessary for the HMI application are not going to be tied back. So in a way, you can limit the scope of some of your tags and not recreate all the PLC tags on your HMI side. Going back to my page, if I double click the page, what I can do is I can reselect my push button. One thing I do want to point out is that I can also change the text. So this is going to be my push button one. And going back into the behavior a variable, I can specify that this is going to be my push button one. Similarly, I can select the one below and I can select that this is under behavior going to be my push button number two. An important set of settings and actions for every item is going to be found under the Dynamics tab. If we navigate into this tab for our push button, we're going to find an option to create a new dynamic, which once selected is going to provide a list of unique features tied to a push button element. And as you can see, we can add advanced animations that are going to react to different variables and change the text of our button, make it blink, make it visible or non-visible, as well as change its position. And that's allowing us to create a much more advanced HMI experience. And so this is how we can create the most basic application that's going to allow us to change certain variables. Now, in order to download our project, what we can do is we can right click the main project. And once again, we'll, we're will we going to write and start project. And to launch our application, there's going to be a couple of options. We can go back to our project. There's going to be this icon that launches the default behavior to display HMI pages. We can click on that and that's going to open a new tab in my browser. I'm going to bring that over and I'm going to log in with the exact same credentials that are written on the PLC. Once logged in, there's not much that's going to happen when we press the push buttons. That being said, what I do want to show you is that if we place this next to our PLC Next Engineer and just resize the window a little bit so that you can see, there's a way to debug your tags inside of main and to be able to see what's going on with your controller and the HMI application. So what we need to do is if we right click this, we need to make sure that debug on off is enabled, make sure that there is a blue icon around the eye. And by doing that, we can double click our PLC project, navigate into the data list. And what you'll notice is that there's going to be tag specific values for each tag that is currently being activated. So scrolling all the way down to HMI tag one and two, what we're going to notice is as soon as I press the HMI push button, that tag value is changing from false to true. And that's exactly the behavior we would expect. And at this point, we can create some PLC logic that's going to react to the push buttons that we're pressing. In any case, that's all we've got for this basic introduction of the HMI. There's certainly a lot more elements that you can experiment with. You can add different pages, you can add navigation, and a lot of those things are going to be covered in the advanced course.